Good morning. Filling up gas. Getting ready to uh, go offshore today. Weather's well, not the greatest. It's cloudy all day. I'm here at uh, Matagorda, this brand new gas station. Gas uh, price has risen up. Probably gonna go about nine, ten miles out today. Uh, not too far out. I just replaced the brand new hubs last time. It blew out. The one on the other side blew out. So this one's kind of old. So I replaced both both hubs. Uh, so far, so good. I'm here at um, Matagorda, Texas, at uh, Rollins Bait Camp. Uh, decent spot. It's a private boat ramp, but they will let you uh, launch here. Um, what is not too bad today? East wind. Right now, it's about five miles per hour, but it will. Um, pick up a little bit later on today so hopefully get some fish real quick and uh head in look at this lovely morning nice calm ish day i'm at the uh colorado river heading out to uh to the jetties and uh, straight out morning Some folks there in the house, chilling, relaxing, and uh, I'm all set. I got bait, got gears, and it's all set. All right, let's go fishing. you hear see what's going on Woo. strong current the windy strong current might be tough hopefully they're here they're here <laughs> get my limit real quick and a uh, bounce but look how bumpy it is now jeez louise I am in. Anchor is down good. Just need to uh, straighten it out. As you can tell, the reason why I'm casting here instead of that side, that side, or the other side, is because this is where the current flows. As you can see, the current flows this direction. I'm facing towards the waves that way you know I don't drift inside the rig however whew, still uh, st 
still messy. Look at that. Bumpy waves, man. Fast, too. Coming at it fast. It looks like I'm, I'll be using 16 ounce weight today. And just got to be careful. This kind of conditions. If you're a beginner, I would not recommend go out on days like this. I would wait for a nice, calm, flat day to go out. Me, I've been out quite often, so even so, it gets pretty sketchy. Uh, but I, uh, uh, you know, I'll manage. I'll manage. Anyways, all right, let's get ready. Got some cut mullets in here, but bonitos, that's what I'm using. Uh, frozen bonitos. messy looking huh because i had these leftover ones from last trip um, we get, if you go fishing i recommend get yourself some of these bonitos or oh, they uh they're not spanish macro they uh they're just smaller bonitos nice huh People eat them. <laughs> I use them for bait. All right. It's the uh, Shimano Talica 12. Really good reel. Did not have a gaff today. Got a couple friends out here on boats. They head uh, west towards uh, Port O'Connor and a couple of them head east. That's how we do it. We, uh, we divide and conquer. We split up and uh, try to find the fish. Once we find them, we uh, call each other. Good. Damn. not as cold today it's uh, around 60 65 degrees Ooh. days like today you're not careful it's really easy to fall off I prep these leaders at home So I'm using a, using a 16 ounce weight. 7-0 circle hook. Nice piece of bonita. It's frozen, I wanna thaw it out a little bit. get some actions first drop the bait already way out here that's with a pound worth of uh, uh, weight on there Bring like eight ounce or like 12 ounce again to you to be way back behind the jet ski already all right i'm getting a couple of bites it's quite small bites small fish we need big heavy actions
I took my bait, maybe. I'll check the bait real quick. I had a lot of bites, little bites. Why I'm taking a bait. Yep. Dang it. Fish on. Fish on there, right? I uh, moved to a different rig. Oh man. This size fish. I'm not sure what it is. Could be. Could be stingray actually. Uh, snapper. It's gotta be a snapper. A big old snapper maybe. It's been a while. I shot a fish everywhere. Couldn't find them. I finally had a bite. Almost gonna give up. Look at how big the waves are. The waves are pretty gnarly. He's a really big guy, if it is a snapper, a fight like it. Yeah, snapper. Wow. Big old sucker. Big sucker. Finally, a good one. I uh, I made my round around the uh, the rigs. I was gonna give up, but man, glad I stay. Really good size snapper. Gonna bring him up. Oh, big wave coming! Big wave, big fish. Heck yeah, on a uh, Talaka 12, big jumbo red snapper, eight miles out, at the exploded rig, I think by now you know what it is, oh man, yeah heck yeah, I was about to give up, because, just look at the waves, I mean, I'm being washed around. Strong wind just picked up out of nowhere. Uh, it's cloudy sky. Man, it's just not a very pretty day to fish at all. But however, uh, they, they they're not very aggressive. They you know they do bite here and there, and then this would be my first one. Really, really nice size red snap. There you go. Right the Scary, sketchy. Very nice red snapper. 35 inches. Wow. Okay, let's see if I can get another one. And try to get one more. Call the day because let's just look at it. Golly. Really dangerous. <laughs> okay, I'll play hook up into another one. Uh, this should be number two. Uh, yeah. Oh, really nasty weather. I hope this is number two. Frank, very good. Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I don't know, it's running out. Could be a redfish. Yeah, it is a redfish. It's a bowl red. <laughs> oh wow, that's just ridiculous. I put on a piece of mullet, I got a bull red. 
Look at the weather, it sucks. <coughs> Big old redfish. I don't want to deal with this thing. On a jet ski, you got to deal with a tag and everything else. What a mess. Gone. Another one. <coughs> could be a snapper. Or it could be a redfish. Heavier than the other one. It might be a snapper. That's number three. Because the last one was a redfish. It wasn't enough. It wasn't small enough to keep too big. Here in Texas, 21 to 28, you can keep without having a tag. And if anything bigger than 28, you have to have a tag. What is this? Oh, another red, red fish. Sheesh. Bigger one. Man, was that the same one? I just hooked <laughs> the same redfish twice. What in the hell? Oh my. What a pest. This one is bigger than the other one. It's not the same one. Thought it was. Alright, guy. You can go now. Yep, gone. Gone. I'll pop his bladder already. That's how you should do it. Well, I'm gonna try a little bit more. If I can't catch anything else, I'm gonna head in. This is rough, man. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Gnarly day. I'm on again. So after two redfish, a big old snapper, and I'm on. So at least the weather sucks, but at least the fish are biting. This one might be a snapper. It's pulling in into the rig. Oh yeah. I don't want it to. I don't want to be going to the rig. Come on, get out of there. Come on, baby. Yeah. Good fight. There's got to be a red snapper. Really good fight. No doubt about it. Yes, I can see red. Oh, I can see really red. Nice. Big old fatty red snapper. Wow. That's big, dude. That's number two. Red snapper. Huge. Oh, my. This dude's 20 pounder. Wow. Man. Good one. Really good. I would normally hold it up and post, show y'all the video, but I can't. Just look at this. Look at this rough ass water. Oh man, let's throw this guy in the cooler and let's try a couple more. If I can limit out, it'd be awesome. I need two more to limit out. I got one here and one in the cooler. And two big old redfish I released. Uh, if it wasn't for the redfish, I would have limited out already. All right, let's see. Let's see if I can get uh, two more or one more. God, the weather. I'm already out here. It's only 1230. Might as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Uh, I want to stay, but the weather got really gnarly. Um, I only got three red snappers, and that's it. Three big old red snapper, two big old redfish I released. Not a beautiful.